Right, Farrow. It's uh, time we made some beer. I can't believe it's April and we haven't made any yet for 2018. But we've been busy with the Keyser build and uh, if time and money was on my side it would have taken a couple of days and then we could have got straight back into the brewing but it's not happened like that. You just had to be patient with her. So today is Saturday and I was at a wedding yesterday so I've took today to tidy the place out, give everything a good fettle up and a good clean. We are ready tomorrow to just dive straight into it and it's going to be an early brew day. Probably going to be the earliest I'm planning that I've uh, started brewing. I'm trying to get in here for about 5 o'clock in the morning. It's not going to happen, uh, but somewhere around that time because I need to get done relatively early because Abby's going to work so I need to watch the kids. And if I don't do it tomorrow then it's going to be another week and I can't have that. Now, we will also be concluding the Kieser build in the brew day because the fans arrived. Goddamn fans. I ordered these fans and they were really cheap. That should have been my first, uh, my first alarm bell going off. And they come from China. I don't know how you guys that buy from China uh, cope with it. It takes about six to eight weeks for anything to arrive. When it does, it's been kicked from here to Kingdom Come. It's not packaged well. And uh, so, anyway, these are the fans that I ordered. They're too small. Uh, one's broke, but it still works. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is, instead of fitting these into the keyser, I'm gonna be removing the two big fans, because I don't, I don't really need two fans of that size. Uh, in the fermentation fridge, so I'm going to I'm going to remove both the big fans out of the fermentation fridge, replace them with these because obviously there's less there's less air volume to move about in the fermentation fridge as opposed to the keyser. So I'm going to set these up exactly the same as the big ones, one on each side, blowing and moving the air around. These will be fine for inside this fermentation fridge, and then the big fans I'm going to mount into the keyser. And that's it, that's all I need to do to finish the keyser. I, so it doesn't warrant having a, another video, separate video of just fitting fans and turning her on, because she's not on at the minute. Uh, until I can have the air circulating, the heater is working more than it should do, because uh, it's just heating up like a little area till it spreads out, and I want everything to be moving around. So she's not actually on, she's off at the minute. So tomorrow we're gonna be fitting these in the fermentation fridge, and moving the big fans into the keyser as well as doing the pail uh, which for me will be tomorrow but for you it will be in the next cutscene <laughs> Hallelujah! 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 Good morning, fellas! Oh my goodness! Well, we've mashed in for the first time of 2018. It's about friggin' time. It is quarter to seven. On a Sunday morning, we managed to get up early enough. Got everything ready, got the strike water on. It's uh, quarter to seven now by the time I've done messing about with other stuff. We're mashed in. 6.45 a.m. We're circulating and we're at 66 degrees where we need to be. Uh, for some unknown reason though, one of the recirculation uh, hoses has disappeared in the cleanup. So I'm having to slum it a little bit. Um, I've got the HLT up to temp and then I've had to take out the recirculation for that and use it to recirculate the mash. I ain't gonna worry about it, I'm just gonna enjoy today. This is the first time I've brewed in a long time and nothing's gonna ruin it. But the main thing is the mash is sitting where I want it so we're just gonna have to slum it for today and then order a, uh, a meter or two a hose to get on the recirculation again. Recipe wise I didn't really 
want to concern myself too much about getting something bang on perfect. I just wanted to have a bit of fun today. Just wanted to enjoy it. I knew I wanted something really pale. So we've just ended up with uh, 4 kgs of um, pale malt. Moved away from the Marisotta for this one. So we're using, uh, we're using Birch pale malt. Uh, a dash of carapils and a dash of flaked barley and she's looking pale which is what I want hot wise I thought I'd finished the recipe hot wise uh, but I hadn't I hadn't added the hops to it god damn it so this morning bleary eyed I was sat at the computer trying to kick the brain in to action of where I wanted these hops so there's three hop additions that are going into the boil and they don't kick off until 30 minutes towards the end. So the first hops going in is going to be a 20 gram drop of Galaxy at, uh, at 30 minutes and then we're going to have 15 grams of Mosaic going in 10 minutes towards the end of the boil and 15 grams of Galaxy going in 5 minutes towards the end of the boil and then we're going to switch her off, drop her to 80 and chuck in 10 grams of each mosaic in Galaxy and then the dry up is going to be a 20 gram drop of Galaxy and a 20 gram drop of mosaic uh, kept it pretty simple with the hops kept it a little bit lenient with the amounts because we're, we're hopefully going to have a, a lower ABV uh, pale and she's going to be pale for sure so I didn't want to overshoot the hops so yeah let me go and get the yeast, because we're using a different yeast today, I've never used it before. BRY97 American West West Coast. For some reason, I had a look uh, when I was ordering the grains from Brew UK, I couldn't find, um, couldn't find USO5. And I thought, well, I'm just, I'm just wanting a, a stressless day today, so I just picked this one. She's gonna be a pale little number for sure. For sure. Not only did I lose the hose as well for recirculating, um, but the fans on the uh, control panel, which drag cold air over the uh, solid states, it's like a push and pull, so it's dragging the cold air in and out. Um, the fans decided today to uh, not work. We don't want to work today. It's too early. It's too early for work. So they've packed up. So we need to order more fans. I'm having problems with fans. First these come, they're too small from China. And then, then these pack up. So I'm not happy about it because uh, things start to get a little bit warm, although it's not bad at the minute. But um, I like to have it all nice and cool in there. What are you going to do? Never mind, right? I will catch you when we're in the boil pot. That's what we like to see. An uneventful mash. No problems, no loss in temps. Uh, everything ran. Tickety boo! Which is a big help. Especially when you've not brewed for a while. You just want to enjoy the first one. You don't want to be thrown into a, a pit of despair. <laughs> we're up with the mash. 60 minute mash. Uh, 66 degrees. Uh, we're going to run her into the boil pot now. And get a crack a with that. Pretty much did have foil over. God damn it. A tiny little trickle came running down here. But we managed to knock off the power and give her a bit of a bash with the uh, stainless steel spoon. You take your eye off the ball for, for one little moment. Uh, I took a reading and we are one point off 
the pre-boil gravity of 1035 and uh, that's no problem because we've actually collected quite a bit more liquor but we, yeah we're all point off should be 1035 with 1034 1033 1034 so we'll catch that up I'm sure in the boil but uh, I'm going to weigh these hops out now so working backwards for stackability reasons oh mosaic what have you done to me right we want 10 grams of mosaic that is good and 10 grams of the old galaxy zero that I don't know why it's acting the goat but uh, Oh, that smells delightful. And 10 grams of the galaxy. Oops, a daisy, just a touch extra. <laughs> Next is uh, the 5 minute, which is 15 grams of galaxy. The 10 minute, which is 15 grams of mosaic. And the 30 minute edition, 20 grams of galaxy. Just about uh, past that hot break, I think, thank God. Once we are, I can leave it. Um, we start the timer, we've got half an hour before hops start dropping in. We just need to keep an eye on it, make sure she doesn't boil over again. Right, in with the first hop drop. Still getting a bit, uh, a bit boily over here. There you go. All right, we're ready for the 10 minute addition. Going in. Our oh, friggin' la. It ain't going to plan, boys. No, nope. no. Nope. Uh, the fan packed in. Um. I thought it had completely knackered up. So <laughs> I took the extractor off the fan to put it out the window and um, it started again. It just uh, blew a leaf out the top. So there was a leaf with a little bit of a twig attached to it that was stopping it. <sighs> uh, so now the fan's working, but I can't get the extractor back on without it dropping off because everything's wet. The last boil edition's going in. Last boil edition, five minutes going in. I can't even remember what it is. It's been a been a one of them days. See what I mean? You're all steamed up. It's all steamy in here. In the go, boys. In the go. Right, we're about 80 degrees, fellas. So we're gonna. Burn our fingers. Right, we're going to chuck in the, uh, the steeping hops. 10 grams of each, mosaic and uh, cascade. We're recirculating as well, so uh, chuck them down there. Beautiful. Just let them have a bit of a run round. Oh, wow, we're goosing out of there. Excellent. And that concludes the hops. We've been tinkering around with the fridge. Let's get this yeast in. See how we get on with this uh, American West Coast. Just like that, we're done. Let me show you what happened while you were gone. The, uh, the fans in the fermentation fridge, I've removed them. And I've put in the place 
the smaller fans that we had delivered and uh, I must say you can definitely feel it you can definitely feel it two of them smaller fans in there is definitely enough to move this volume of air around and the bigger fans wired up into here so we've now got the bigger fans working in the keyser you can definitely definitely feel them pushing the air about Christ almighty two side by side uh, so as the heat from the heat lamp from the heating tube rises it'll blow it about in here so that's it fellas fans are in keys is done not a bad day not a bad day I've been tinkering around with that I'm pretty much done cleaned up wise but that's it 8th of April first Beer Brewed 2018, as well as finishing the Kiza. Had a few hiccups today, but nothing that we haven't overcome. So I'll catch you with the dry up in of this pail, because I'm looking forward to getting something on tap. My goodness. And that's it. So as always guys, don't forget to thumb up for the video. Don't forget to hit the like and hit subscribe. Click it on what's coming next year. The video get it up. I hope to see you until next time. I'm out of here.